Yeah, a little bit of a slower warm up here because of the cloud cover uh, that lingered into the lunch hour. Places that have seen the sunshine already today hanging out in the low 80s and we're slowly clearing things out, but we're talking low 70s east side of the metro mid 70s here in Des Moines, Ankeny, Ames 75 and Boone 80 right now out towards Perry running a little bit warmer than yesterday, especially across northwest portions of the state. I think temperatures this afternoon with the sunshine should make it into the low to mid 80s here, so we should be a little bit warmer than yesterday. We ended up in the 70s yesterday afternoon, so today a little bit of a change. We've had this weak disturbance come through basically just bringing a line of very, very light showers. A lot of that didn't even make it to the ground as it pushed through central Iowa, but you can see the cloud cover slowly shifting off to the east. We've got clear skies back to our west and north, so we should see some sunshine peeking through now in downtown Des Moines and across the metro area. Places where we're hanging onto the clouds out towards um, Newton, say Montezuma, down to Oskaloosa, as well as uh, Indianola. Eventually you'll be clearing out here as we head into the second part of your Tuesday. The hour by hour forecast looks like this. We'll see a couple chances for storms here as we go into the next two days or so. Rest of today, if you're in central Iowa, I think we end up fairly quiet. We've seen the potential for some more storm development across northeast Iowa. Second half of the day today, there could be a stronger storm or two, but a lot of the models aren't picking up on that. So we'll see what happens here. Second half of our Tuesday, that's mainly going to be east of I-35 if we do see any storm development. Otherwise, skies stay clear here tonight. We head into the day on Wednesday. I think we start off with a mix of sun and clouds on Wednesday morning. We go into Wednesday afternoon, and that's when we'll start to see more showers and thunderstorms develop across northern and northwestern portions of the state. Some of those on our Wednesday afternoon and evening could be on the stronger side with hail and wind will be, would be the primary concern with any of those storms that do turn severe. As those storms shift off to the east, we could see some leftover activity through early Thursday morning across eastern Iowa. I think Thursday looks fairly dry. A few showers and storms try to develop by Thursday afternoon again across the eastern half of the state. But overall, I think Wednesday will be the day to watch for some stronger storms. We could see some leftover activity Thursday afternoon and evening, but that looks pretty isolated. The storms that we get on Wednesday bringing maybe a half an inch of rain or so here across northern and uh, north central portions of the state. So we do get some beneficial rainfall with some of those heftier storms. Tomorrow, though, best chance for those stronger storms. That'll be a two out of five in uh, the severe category there. That's in the yellow color. but. Anyone here across central and eastern portions of the state could see a stronger storm or two here Wednesday afternoon and evening. Temperatures today with some sunshine should make it back up into the mid 80s, warmer across northern Iowa. Tonight, skies clear out. It'll be muggy. Temperatures drop back into the 60s. We head into the day tomorrow, and I think we do end up in the 90s. And the potential, again, for some storms in the afternoon will be weather aware on Wednesday. Thursday and Friday back to near 90 degrees with uh, the humidity and then we'll keep the 90s in the forecast right into the upcoming weekend with slim chances for rain both Saturday and Sunday.